What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So for the title of this video, you guys already know, it's another car review video. And I'm pretty excited to bring this for you guys because the last review video I did was of the shop's Honda Element. So you guys might be wondering, Honda Element is just a basic SUV, but that one is special because it's turbocharged, all wheel drive, and six speed manual transmission. So pretty cool. If you guys haven't watched it yet, make sure to check out that review. Um, we have a bunch of cool cars at the shop, but this is another cool car that you don't see too often. And I had actually a few people asking me to do a review of it whenever I posted like videos and photos of it on Instagram. So without further ado, let's go ahead and present to you this Honda Acti JDM truck. So here it is. Like I said, this is a Honda truck, Honda Acti. So, I say this is JDM because this was never offered in the US. Uh, it's only offered in Japan, and in Japan there's a lot of small cars and trucks. They call it K, K-E-I, K trucks. So yeah, pretty cool. This was a recent pickup at the shop. Our owner Long picked it up as a shop truck. As you can see, we use it to haul stuff like trash. I came here at the gas station because I'm gonna fill up on some gas. Uh, but yeah, super cool. And since it's from Japan, it is right-hand drive. And fun fact, this is actually the first ever right-hand drive I've ever driven, so pretty cool. It is a little modified as well. Uh, it does have a Momo off-the-market steering wheel. It is in manual transmission. Um, yeah, very typical 90s Honda interior. And of course, since it's JDM, it's in kilometers, not miles per hour. So one thing that kind of throws some people off when you're driving right-hand drive for the first time, uh, firstly, you're shifting with your left hand, not your right hand. And secondly, when you try to signal turn left or turn right, it's not on this side, it's actually on the other side, on the right side. So signal, signal. So it's a little bit different. Um, this side is like your windshield wipers as well as your headlights. So it might throw you off at first if you drive right-hand drive car for the first time. It was my first time. Um, let's see what else here. It does have an off-the-market Pioneer single DIN. This is pretty cool. Not too sure what, what exactly this is, but it seems like some sort of oh, microphone, like walkie-talkie. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing that's off-the-market as well. Uh, let's see what else. It is pretty small inside. It seats two people. That's all. Um, but being a K truck, it is pretty small. Uh, over here, you have some aftermarket rotor wheels. These are tiny. I believe the size on these are 13s, really small. Let me show you guys a view from the rear. Yeah, it's a Honda Acti. If you guys are trying to look it up, A-C-T-Y. Like I said, it has four wheel drive. Has an exhaust on it too, pretty cool. And if you compare a regular American truck beside it, this thing is tiny. It's almost like a toy. And here's another size comparison. You can see a regular American truck is much longer and bigger. Um, if you're wondering why does it not have... The nose is not very long. is because the engine is not here. Engine is actually, I believe, on the back, underneath. I'm not too familiar with these. Um, but apparently they have a motorcycle engine, three cylinder motorcycle engine. So these things are not fast by any means, not powerful at all. Um, it's meant to be a little cruiser. I want to say, I think the top speed might be like 50 or 60 miles an hour, which is not fast. It's meant for like city driving or just around town. I think in Japan, people just drive around their ranches in these. And let's do a little startup. The key is just your regular Honda key from the nineties, like your EK Civic. Um, so clutch in Oh one thing about JDM cars uh, I heard I guess it's such a habit when I start the car I have my clutch in for a manual car But I heard that you can just turn the key you don't even have to have the clutch in in JDM cars And now to have it started I can let you guys hear that little exhaust It's real subtle Sounds like a Honda And AC and everything works in this thing JDM cup holder because I don't think it came with any cup holders. Oh, it just came with one right here. Uh, this is an attachment on the air vent. And old school, so no power windows. You're gonna roll it up manually. Uh, a lot of things pretty manual. Uh, like I said, the speedometer only goes 120 kilometers an hour. 
So to give you a perspective, 100 kilometers an hour is 60 miles an hour. I don't think this thing really tops out at 120 km per hour. Uh, like I said, your max speed is probably like 50 or 60 miles per hour. But everything works. Uh, four wheel drive, let's take it for a short little drive. no power so I'm gonna wait till coast is clear and then drive it <laughs> feels so weird driving on the right side I gotta make sure that I'm not crossing the line Here's another size comparison. Like I said, a K truck besides a car, a Honda Civic Type R. You can see Type R is much longer and bigger, even though it is a sedan, it is a car. Usually trucks are bigger. Yeah, pretty fun. I hope you guys like this simple review. I hope you guys like it. If you guys like it, make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when new videos are out. Like it, share it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.